welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome i'm so happy to have you and um, i post about all things gardening my name is preeti and i garden in toronto in zone six and today i actually wanted to chat with you a little bit about my front garden and landscape and some of the changes that i have made here um, you know it, like i feel design is such an evolution in the garden like you do certain things at a point in time and then as as you kind of um, evolve your garden there are always new ideas and new things that you want to try in the garden and with that i also wanted to mention that i have extended my front garden bed and i've created a new design here and i've been doing a lot of planting of perennials and with that i mean i've added a bunch of landscape roses i've added um, two of the ringo all-star roses there and two atlas roses um, I've created a rock garden and actually recently also um, changed uh, the centerpiece for the rock garden. I used to have an old uh, boxwood that was not doing so well, which I kind of pruned, but it just did not look right in this spot because it was very straggly and very like bare. So I kind of wanted something lower because I want uh, the view to kind of graduate up from this point. So. I wanted to share with you the plants that I've added here. I've added um, a couple of spireas actually. I've added one over there and one over here. And this is um, Glogal Spirea by Proven Winners. So this is a uh, all gold, uh, gold, um, all uh, Glogal Spirea. And it is a nice compact dwarf shrub, which I think looks really nice in this rock alpine garden because it adds a nice bright centerpiece. It has these beautiful lime, as you can see, lime chartreuse leaves, and it has um, really nice uh, flower buds forming, these little pink flower buds, pink or reddish flower buds, which will open to these beautiful white flowers, which I think will glow in this spot uh, quite aptly. And what I loved about the shrub is that it has a brilliant fall color. It has a really nice orange, red um, fall color, um, yellow, orange, and red fall color. So I think for all those reasons, this will make a stunning statement uh, centerpiece for this, for this uh, garden bed because it's going to stay low. It's only going to be compact. I think it's hardy up to zones um, four and it's going to, or three even, and it's going to uh, get about three by three so not very large and if you do want a size control and keep it even shorter you can prune it if you don't really care too much about the flowers but i think if i this one has enough space to kind of spread out and do its thing here and it has beautiful beautiful little delicate blooms on it which i really adore um so what i did was i added two of these i added one here and i added one over here and i kind of added a uh, um uh, bit of a creeping phlox kind of um, start over here so that eventually this will kind of form this this low ground cover here and kind of add a little nice um, color in the early part of spring and I have the other global spirea just below this um, quick fire standard as you can see and it's adding a nice pop of color in this corner and I love how this looks and I have an all uh, evening gown um, hookra that uh, that is in the back there those are also proven winner plants and i have a cat's pajama nepeta here and i have uh, these couple of ringo all-star roses i'll go through these with you in a in a minute because i've i bought two more of these plants and i kind of want to add them uh, a couple more in this spot because i think they will be really nice in this part of the garden and add a beautiful drift of these beautiful blooms and i'll show you what these um, shrubs look like so yes a lot of a uh, lot of uh, different things have been added and it's looking really really nice um, and before i go on i want to show you this beautiful tulip that's just about to open i love how this looks and it's so pretty i love i think these are ferret tulips highly recommend them and they are just stunning um, so on to the Ringo All-Star Rose. These are just stunning. Actually, these plants are a little bit ahead of the ones that I planted in my landscape. And I can even show you what this bloom looks like. So this is what it fades to the bloom. It is um, 
a beautiful coral color when it begins you can see the bud is more coral and then as it fades it goes into this light pink uh, and even fade even lighter than this so excited to have this that this beautiful plant in my garden it's called Ringo All Star it's a landscape rose and this is again by proven winners um, and this one here sorry just want to get it open um, so this one brings multiple colors on one plant uh, blooms transform from melon orange with dark pink center to lavender with a pink center as they age and this one is um, only going to get about three to four feet tall and wide um, so I think three feet three by three is what the size is is so easy to tuck in and it is hardy from zones where does it say the zone zone four to eight so quite hardy and it is um, again recommended to plant it in full sun roses generally prefer full sun um, and it is going to flower from all summer and fall so it's beautiful it loves moist and well-drained soil and it is uh, has low deer resistance if deer is a problem in your area and you can use it in borders containers mass planting low hedges um, and i will be actually using it two more of these in the front because i really really love this rose i think the open uh, open um, petals um you know exposed centers will be very good for the pollinators and I'm, I'm really excited to add this to my garden and the fact that they're going to bloom all summer just makes me really excited to add these and it has lots and lots of buds this one very very healthy plants very, very so many buds and i'm so excited to add these in my garden so i'm going to get planting and i'll show you uh when i'm done what this looks like so the the plan is to have them um, somewhere in here so I might do one in there and uh, one over here so kind of creates a bit of a drift um, and continues that drift that I've started there so that's the plan and I'll show you when I'm all done to show you I planted the two uh, all-star shrub roses in the ground and they look really nice I love that it's creating a nice drift of roses here and that's what I wanted and I love 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 these colors of roses the peaches the pinks and i think um this border is going to look really good with with just these and they're going to stand out and they're going to bloom all summer and that's what i'm most excited about they look happy and i kind of moved my little lime hydrangea over a little bit so it can fill in in this spot and i have another one here and i plan to keep them shorter and trimmed back because this is the edge of my dry bay so a lot of the snow gets shoveled in this spot so the branches will naturally break um, so these will have to remain sm on the smaller side on this side anyways and I might eventually replace them with a smaller hydrangea like a firelight tidbit or something that stays small but for now I have these plants because I had rescued them so I'm going to use them in this landscape and and see how they do for me in this space and I have a new, really nice coral charm peony over here so I think the colors are all going to be corals and peach and pinks in here and it's going to look really nice um, and I do have some irises um, the, the Siberian irises that are kind of interspersed in there I don't expect them to do much this year but I think next year they will give me some blooms in in kind of in the gaps over there and exciting to see uh, the garden bed evolve the thought process evolve and that's one thing I wanted to point out about gardening is that it is an evolving process like you may not have everything right in the first go and that's what i feel about gardening i'm a very visual person i have to see it in the space i have to live in it for a little while to see if i like it or i don't like it and don't be afraid to move things around especially when they are not so established in your landscape because they are okay to move um, and as long as you keep them watered and take care of them they will reward you and they will settle in the new location i have also moved a lot of mature shrubs and they've done okay Okay for me so just you know treat the plant with um with care once you move something and make sure it's watered we are supposed to be getting a lot of rain so i think um this bed will do really good once it gets all that rain and uh, with that i just wanted to thank you so much for watching this video and coming along with me as i show you um, how this bed has evolved what are some of the new things i have planted here i am so excited about the global spirea and the roses i think they're going to look really nice when everything comes to bloom 
already with the salvia in bloom it just looks so vibrant and pretty and i just love this view of the garden right now so and gardens will change as the season progresses and that's another thing that to keep in mind that this view will change as the season progresses and that's the whole whole bit about gardening that it's kind of changing and you look forward to the next thing and the next thing and I and I really really love that so on that note I hope I wish you all happy gardening I hope you're having a joyful gardening day and or enjoying your garden uh, the way it is uh, sometimes you don't have to make a change to enjoy it you can just soak in what you have and um, it's just gorgeous either way so with that uh, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you in my next video mm -hmm.